IMAX. This is the first time you've seen me, I think. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ian. So I'm doing this so to explain what the um, magnetic atoms need to be able to do in order to be able to sell them and to work properly. So these are the original ones that I that I made and I'm still using them. Um, the, the same ones, even though they're polystyrene, styrofoam, unless you stand on them, they, they stand up to wear very well. So they're very light. That's, the, one, that's one of the advantages of those. And also the magnets that are used are those um, rare earth magnets. So they're quite expensive. Maybe I paid about maybe 20 cents per magnet for these. You could get them in bulk for much cheaper, but even so, they're, they're more expensive than the ones that Shouten are using is using. But what you can see also is because we've got a combination of a very light ball and a very strong magnet, they stick together very well, and you can make double. They the 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 um, link material that I'm using is just fishing line. It's a hundred and hundred pound fishing line and it's just the right flexibility and stiffness to bend to be able to make a double bond. So it needs we need to have the bonds to be able to, to sort of wrap around and change shape so that they can double up or triple up to make a triple bond. Here's another example. You can see it also holds its shape. It's it's um, very strong. Of course that's a double bond it would. But if we take a, a carbon atom and stick an oxygen atom, we can make a double bond there, all, all good, and we make another oxygen atom there. You can see how the molecule is holding up to the weight because of the lightness of the balls and the strength of the magnets and the stiffness of the links. So it's not bending out of shape. If I put a, another hydrogen atom there, it's still kind of, um, it's starting to get a bit wobbly, but it's pretty good. It's not perfect. Perfection takes a little longer. But you can see that this, the, the extra weight of the hydrogen doesn't bend it out of shape too much. Put another hydrogen here. So that's methanoic acid, formic acid. Now, if, these are the latest ones that Xiao sent me yesterday and they've got the plastic balls which are a little bit smaller but they're heavier, significantly heavier than uh, polystyrene and that's not um, in itself a problem but the magnets are weaker too so that when we try to put them together like um, if you take this one here I can shake it pretty easily but this one it the magnets aren't strong enough to and these links are quite long so that there's a lot of um, moment, moment um, rotational moment and they can fall off very easily so if you have a number of those then you know like if you have say two oxygen atoms on the hydrogen the, the um, the carbon it's going to do that even more so the other thing is that the link material is very stiff it's I think it's a hundred and maybe 200 250 pound fishing line by the looks of it so it can't bend um, easily at least the magnets aren't strong enough to be able to hold on to the tension when it's bent and so it can't form a double bond or a multiple bond at all or a triple bond it just it can't reach across even um, so I can't see I need to be able to get it like this so that it, it um, changes shape and fully engages with the two whereas this one even if, if I bring it across I'm lucky if I can get the two magnets even to touch each other but when they do I can't get them to turn around now what I've got here is a third solution, a third situation where I've taken Shao's, Shao Tian's um, links, which are brilliant, by the way. I'm not, um, I'm being, I'm criticising the atoms, not Shao, Ta Shao Tian. 
um, the, the, his, you know, this invention of, of um, the, the Lynx is, is terrific. But what I've done is use the original, because the magnets are so light, are so weak, it's more important to have very light balls. So these balls are less than half the weight of the plastic ones that Xiaotian has used. So you can see that um, I can construct, we'll go again, so here's an oxygen molecule, just putting them together like that. He's got sort of bendable flex, um, he hasn't used fishing line this time, it's a bendable kind of um, material which works pretty well with if it's in combination with the light polystyrene balls. But if you put it with the heavy ones, that tends to be not strong enough and just falls over and the, the thing changes shape. So basically here it's working with my balls and Xiaotian's links. And if we, if we have another one here, there's, there's a um, carbon atom, and we put on a double bond with the oxygen, it holds together, fine. Another oxygen holds together, and, and you can see that it's holding its shape. It bends a little bit, but not too much, and it certainly doesn't fall apart. Now that's using um, the links from Xiaotian, and the polystyrene ball. So it's a combination that what we need is a combination of lightness f of the balls and strength of the magnet so that they sort of work together and and make the molecules perform in the way they should. Now to tell you the truth I would like them to be a bit stronger. Xiaotian said that there, either, there are stronger magnets available but you have to get 50,000 of them. Um, now I think that, that if, if we test this on the market and it's a goer, then I think we should go for the stronger magnets, even with the, the light polystyrene balls. So what I'm suggesting is that perhaps we, we use this as a compromise to, to take them to market. What do you think?